What's up, Mad19 fans? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to uh, just run through a couple quick tips here to start Madden 15. These are my top five tips for uh, Madden 19. So let's start with tip number one. Tip number one is to have a purpose when you're playing Madden 19. So the way that you do that is you have to, you have to define what your goal is uh, on both sides of the ball. So for example, if you're on offense, you have to define what is your goal? What is the way that you're gonna win the game? What is your identity? And if you're on defense, it's the same way. So for example, uh, whenever I play defense, my entire philosophy is that if you can hold your opponent to field goals as opposed to uh, touchdowns, then you're gonna be successful, okay? And so that's my whole entire philosophy in a nutshell. And on defense, it's pretty simple as well, uh, or on offense, it's pretty simple as well. Uh, my entire philosophy is that I wanna use short passing plays to move the ball strategically up the field, okay? So very, very simple uh, strategies. Everything that I do revolves around those purposes. And I also talk a little bit about uh, one key uh, tactic and tip number two is this, if you understand schematics and the way that the game works every single year, this is not just this year, this is every single year in Madden, it's basically you have a, on offense specifically, it works the same on defense as well, but what you wanna do is you wanna make everything that you do look identical. So for example, right now I'm testing out the game, but as I get into my scheme, what I wanna do is I wanna make every motion look identical. I wanna run the same offensive set every single time. And so you'll see here, I'm using the Seattle playbook on offense, and so I'm gonna continuously run the shotgun bunch tight end, okay? That's the, that's the formation that I'm gonna come out in every single time on defense, I'm gonna run the big nickel. And so that's the formation that I'm gonna call every single time. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna have a predetermined plan and then you also want to consistently make every single thing that you do look identical because it leads us to tip number three. And that is that in, in Madden, specifically on the offensive side, there are only two major types of plays that you're gonna be calling. You're gonna be calling either a power play or a counter play. Vince Lombardi was famous for running the Green Bay Packers power sweep. And so what they would do is they would establish the sweep, establish the sweep, establish the, the sweep, and then eventually they would hit them with a inside trap play, um, basically their version of what a counter play would be. Um, so you get the defense going one way and then all of a sudden you reverse it back. The same thing applies on the defensive side of the ball. On defense, it's a little bit uh, more strategic. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna establish one type of defense. So maybe it's two high safeties. Maybe you're gonna play cover two, cover two, cover two. And then in a critical scenario, you're going to change your defense from a cover two to a cover three defense. And in that moment, what's gonna happen is the offense is going to be expecting a cover two and then you're gonna be in a cover three. And that is the basic chess match of the way Madden is played, which you don't wanna do, and this is tip number four, you don't want to be uh, what I call reactive. You wanna be proactive. And so what that means is you don't want to be adjusting to the defense. You want the defense to be adjusting to you or vice versa. You don't want to be adjusting to the offense. You want the offense to adjust to you. The best defense is a good offense. And yes, it's a good offense on the defensive side of the ball. And so uh, what a lot of players make the mistake of doing in, in Madden is they do not um, they do not stay proactive. What they start doing is they start trying to beat an individual player, but it's much rather and much better for you to be the best player that you can be. And so you don't want to be reactive. You want to be proactive. And so uh, what you can do to do that is you want to define your goal and then consistently revisit how can I get better? How can I consistently continue to improve my craft? And that's very, very simple to do. All you got to do is subscribe to not just my YouTube channel, but everybody out there who could give you solid feedback and could give you solid tips to get better. Those are the kind of players that you want to follow. And I hope to be one of those many YouTube channels out there that is able to strategically and tactically help you get better. And then the last tip that I have for you is patience. Okay. This takes time. 
um, that being a good Madden player, it takes time, it takes practice. Uh, it took me about a year of solid practice, solid training for me to be able to be a, a really, really solid and effective uh, player. And so uh, what I want to encourage you guys with is that it takes time. You're not going to be an expert at the game on day one, but what you can do is consistently learn from other players, apply these five tips and other tips that we're going to continually give you here on this YouTube channel. You can subscribe by clicking that link below and we'd be happy to have you. But those are the top five tips to get started in Madden 18. And be sure to look out. We're going to have a ton of content this year for Madden 18. I'm so excited to be back. Uh, I took a little bit of a break in the offseason here. And now I'm completely back and excited to give you more Madden 19 content. Thanks, guys. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel.